Greetings everyone, so today I want to talk about USB hubs. The kind you should get depend on what you're trying to do. Okay, so what I have in my hands here are two USB hubs, but there's a big difference between these hubs. This one is powered by the USB port and this one is powered by a power adapter. Now that can make a difference in what are you trying to do? What are you trying to do with these hubs? Now, if you plug in regular low power devices like keyboard, mouse, a flash drive, then this kind of hub is for that type of job. If you're powering everything that's high powered, maybe an external hard drive that needs more power, then you want to go with this one. So this one is for devices that needs a little bit more power than the normal USB port that's put out to this one right here, because this one is going to draw its power from the power adapter. Plus, if you have multiple devices, you got to think that all of those devices are trying to pull from this same hub. So the hub needs power and then it's got to power all the devices that's connected to it. I would recommend instead of getting the one that's USB powered only, I would get the one that comes with a power adapter. Now I'm recommending this one because I personally use this one myself. This one is by Sabrent. And the cool thing about this one is it has power switches. So each one of the ports has a switch. And if you push that switch down, it powers on the USB port. If you don't want that port to be on, then you just click it and then it's going to turn off that port. So only the port that's activated by clicking on the button is going to be powered through the USB port. So you don't have to worry about any other devices pulling power from this hub that doesn't need it at the time when you don't need it. Unlike this hub right here that's USB powered, it doesn't matter if the device is not being used or not, it's going to send power to that devices. Every device that you have that plugs into a USB port requires power, your mouse, your keyboard. That's the reason why you see that little red light under your mouse is because it's being powered through the USB port. So every single device is not just connected to the USB device just to make other things work. It's actually pulling power also to power that external device. Now, like I said, if I'm recommending a USB hub to you, I would always go with the one that comes with its own power adapter. Now, one thing you need to remember, if you're using this kind of hub, you need to use the power adapter. It doesn't work just by the USB port. So depending on your situation, if you need just something to expand your USB port, then you can go with this one. But just remember it has limited power capability. So my personal recommendation is to go with the one that has its power adapter. If you're looking for a USB hub. And like I said, this one is made by Sabrent. It's the ones that I use for all my devices. All right. So like I say, if you're interested in this USB hub, the link is going to be in the description. Thanks for taking the time for watching. Have a good one and I'll see you next time.